Hello everyone. Today we will start our 7th lesson that is coordinate geometry. What is this coordinate geometry? A coordinate geometry is a branch of mass which deals with the position of an object lying in a plane. Describing, describe with the help of the two perpendicular lines. In very easy uh, language we have, we have to say that these are the two perpendicular lines and this is known as the Cartesian system. In this, the system used to describe the position of a point in a plane. It's called the Cartesian. See, this is the origin. What is this? This is the origin. Origin points always 0 and 0. Also, okay. These are the basic things which you have done in the 9th standard actually. But I'll just revise it for you. X axis, this is X dash, Y dash and Y. Okay. The angle between the horizontal and the vertical axis is 90 degree. Horizontal and the, this is 90 degree. So, X and Y are perpendicular to each other. Any line perpendicular to any line perpendicular to Y axis. Any line perpendicular to Y axis is parallel to X axis. Any line perpendicular to Y axis. Suppose this is the line. If this is perpendicular to Y axis. But this line is parallel to x axis. So any line perpendicular to y axis is parallel to the x axis. And if any line perpendicular to x axis, example this, then this is parallel to y axis. These are the basic things. Here the x coordinate, the x coordinate, the distance of the point from the y axis is called the x coordinate or abscissa. Huh? And the distance of the point from x axis is called its y coordinate or ordinate. Abscissa and ordinate. So the coordinates of the point on the x axis are of the form 0, x0 and, uh, and y axis are of the form 0, y. That means what if in x and y axis, on x and y axis, if the point is plotted here, if the point is plotted here, that means example this is a huh? your x axis is a and y axis nothing so it is 0 if the point is plotted here so this is b on y axis it is so your a will be 0 and y will be b hmm? so the co the coordinates of the point on the x axis are of the form x0 and and of a point on the y axis are of the form 0 y in this chapter, actually, we are going to learn the three formulas. That is, one is distance formula, another is section formula and the third one is area of the triangle. Now, you will say, what is this area of the triangle? We have learned earlier this area of the triangle. But you have learned that area of the triangle is half into base into height. When the area of the triangle, this is the height and this is the base given. But, but, this in this chapter, if they have given the coordinates that is x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 then how you are going to do it so we have that another formula so three basic things you are going to learn in this chapter that is distance formula distance formula second thing is section formula what is this section formula if I say I want to divide A and B segment in at point P. If in, ex, internally, it is internally. Internally. Actually you have externally and internally formula. But for 10th standard you are not going to use external formula. You are only using internally formula. So section formula you have one. Next one is area of a triangle. When area of a triangle when three coordinates are given. Three points are given. Okay. First we are going to do is this distance formula. Before going to distance formula. If on a number line. You know this is a number line. Zero. Here all the things are positive. Here it is negative. Okay. Here one, two. I will just write it. Suppose I have A here and I have B the point here. If I tell you. Find the distance between A and B. Find the distance between A and B. So what will be your distance between A and B? 
earlier standards you have learned that the distance between any two points you have to find out you have to minus the greater point or you have to minus subtract the smaller number from the greater number okay that means on a number line always see that your left hand side is greater than your right hand side your left hand side is greater than the right right hand side so in point from point a and b what you say that three minus of minus two because you are doing b b minus a so three minus of minus two that is three plus two and your distance between a b is five distance between A B is five. So this is your distance formula. If I say I want to find out the point D and B, you have D distance between D B. You have to find out the distance between D and B. Again the same rule. Greater minus so three minus one you get two. So distance between D B is two. This is our distance formula. In same way, if we have to find out the distance between the points on the number line that means uh, this cartesian system that means we have some point a is equal to x1 y1 y1 and you have point some b1 is x2 y2 apla kade don points at x1 y1 and x2 y2 mo ya don points mo the distance kasa shodaycha so they have given is the explanation here i'll directly tell you this suppose i have one this is the origin this is your y axis y dash this is x dash this is y and this is x here i have given you a here b the distance between o and a is x1 the distance between o and a is x1 and the distance between o and b is the distance between o and o and b is x2 then what will be your ab a will be your obviously that is x2 minus x1 o ab will be x2 minus x1 now suppose the distance between this is distance between this is y1 y1 okay this also same thing so it will come here that is y1 and the distance i'll erase it i have to this will be the full distance a beta okay and this will be your y2 and this will be your y2 they have given it here this is x1 this whole thing is x2 so this will be x2 minus x1 and this will be y2 minus y1 because whole qs here i will say that c and d cd cb is y2 and ad is y1 then suppose ab ad is y1 what will be your ce c will ce will be y2 minus y1 so this will be y2 minus y1 as this is x2 minus x1 your de will be also x2 minus x1 Okay, then what will be the distance between DE? What will be the distance between DE? Then in triangle DEC, as this is perpendicular by Pythagoras theorem, what you know is DC square is equal to DE square plus CE square. DE square plus CE square. Okay, what is your DE? That is x two minus x one whole square. What is your CE? That is Y two minus y one whole square. So your DC square will be x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square, and that is your DC is your DC is under root your DC is under root x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square. This will be your distance for. They have given us here. PQ equal to this. If you don't want to write a square here, you are putting the square. Root. But if you want to write a square root, squares here, then you can write in this way also. So this is your distance formula. That is x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square. Here I want to tell you one thing. 
I have taken suppose this is your distance A B. I have taken x1 y1. I have taken this x2 y2. My formula will be x2 minus x1. But if anybody wants to take this as x2 and this as x1 and y1, no problem. You can write in the same way x1 minus x2. Any way you can write. So you can write this x1 minus x2 whole square also and y1 minus y2 whole square also. So this is your distance formula. But if I say you, I want the distance between the origin and this point. This is the origin and this is A suppose and I want the distance between the origin. That is OE. Origin. Now you know if I take this as x1, y1 and this as x2, y2. Your origin is 0, 0. So after putting this uh, in this formula, what you get? You get only x square plus y square as x2 and y2 is 0, 0. So from the dis, uh, origin you get the distance formula that is only x square plus y square. This is the formula for the origin. From origin your formula will be x square plus y square. Can I the formula? x square plus y square. And if regular distance formula can x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square or x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Just keep in mind. Now they have given us the example. Do the points 3, 2, minus 2, 3, 2, 3 form a triangle. If so, name the types of triangle form. You have to just put this Substitute the values here and you have to find out PQ, QR, PR and you will get the answer. Before this I want to tell you, um, if I am telling you the basic things, then this is the first quadrant, this is the second quadrant, this is the third and this is the fourth. Here X is positive, Y is also positive, so all will become FF. Here the X is minus and Y is Plus, so it will become minus plus. Here both the axes they have minus minus and here x plus and y minus. This also just keep in mind. Now we will do the exam, uh, exercise of this lesson. We will do the exercise directly. First exercise. Find the distance between the following pair of points. First one. Find the distance between the pair of points. The distance between the points. Let like this first one and do it. First one they have given is 2, 3 and 4, 1. Okay. Let these points be. Let P be equal to 2, 3. Q be equal to 4, 1. Okay. And therefore, by distance formula, by distance formula. What is your distance formula? That is PQ is equal to under root X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. Okay. Before that, before that, just write it here. What is your x1, x2, y1, y2? So that you will not get confused afterwards. Tumal nantar confused na What is x1, x2? 2. y1 is 3. x2 is 4. And y2 is 1. And just substitute the values. This lesson is actually easy if you know the formulas. x2. What is your x2? 4. 4 minus 2 whole square. Y2 is 1 minus 3 whole square. You get 2 square plus minus 2 whole square and you get it 4 plus 4 that is 4 plus 4 8 and you get it 2 root 2. Now here they have not given a unit so you can write this much units. Okay. What is the second one? Minus 5, 7 and minus 1, 3. Your second one is, I'll do it here only. Minus 5, 7 and minus 1, 3. Again, same thing. Let 
a is equal to minus 5, 7 and b is equal to minus 1, 3. Here x1 is equal to minus 1, y1 is equal to 7, x2 equal to minus 1, y2 equal to 3. Again use your distance formula that is ab is equal to x2 minus x1 a whole square plus y2 minus y1 is a whole square. X2 minus X1 whole square. Put up the values. Minus 1. Minus of minus 5. This minus of minus 5. Because this minus sign is compulsory. Plus what is over Y2? 3 minus 7. Here you can write it directly. Okay. Minus 1. Minus minus. Plus 5 whole square. Plus minus 4 whole square. What you get is. Here also 4 square, here 4 square and that is 16 plus 16 that is 32 square root and you get 4 root 2 as in unit. Okay. Now third one. What is the third one? That is AB. Now don't get confused. Carry AB, what can we do? Don't do that, all these things. A minus A and B. Let A is equal to AB and B is equal to minus A and minus B. Here X1 is A and Y1 is B. X2 is minus A and Y2 is minus B. What will be your distance formula? x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Substitute the values. What is your x2? That is minus a. x1 minus a whole square. Same thing here. Minus b minus b whole square. What do you get? Minus 2a whole square plus minus 2b the whole square. That is 4a square plus 4b square. I will do one thing. I will just take out the common factor. That is 4a square plus b square. And what you get 4 square root is 2. And in bracket you get a square plus b. Yes, a square root make a So question number 1 we have done it. Now what is the question number 2? Find the distance between the point 0, 0 and 36, 15. Can you find, can you now find the distance between the two towns A and B? A and B. What is your A and B? Again do by the same distance formula. Just solve it here only. That is question 12. What is that? Your A point is, A point is 0, 0 and B is 36 and 15. The distance between the two points. Let A equal to 0, 0. B is equal to 36 and 15. Again, write the points. X1 equal to 0. Y1 equal to 0. X2 is equal to 36. And Y2 is equal to 15. You can find by distance formula also. Otherwise, you can do it in the uh, origin uh, formula also. That is directly X square plus Y square. Because other point is 0, 0. So, I will do it here directly in this way only. That is 36 square plus 15 square. What is 36 square plus 15 square? That is 1296 plus 225. You get 1521 and that is 39 kilometers. So the distance between, therefore the distance between A and B is 39 kilometers. Okay. Now what is your next question? Check whether whether 5 minus 2, 6, 4 and 7 minus 2 are the vertices of an isosceles line. Before solving this question, what is this isosceles triangle and what are the rules for it? What are the rules for it? 
no before that we have question number 3 very sorry if the point 1 minus 1 5 2 3 and minus 2 minus 11 are collinear for the collinear for the collinear this here a b and c if they have given a b c that means your c should be between a and b that is ac plus cb should be equal to ac or ab plus bc is equal to ab plus bc this is same is equal to ac so that they have na but we will see they have told us determine if the points 1 5 2 3 1 5 2 3 and -2 in 11 are the collinear points or not so let let a is equal to 1 5 b is equal to 2 3 and c is equal to -2 and -11 again by distance formula therefore by distance formula what is your ab ab what is your distance formula before that you have to write the distance formula that is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 is a whole square what is your distance formula ab that is x2 minus x1 so 2 minus 1 whole square plus y2 is 3 minus 5 whole square okay what you get 1 square minus 2 square that is 1 minus 4 and that is minus a plus in sorry and this is 5 so 25 uh, units is your ab what will be your bc bc is the formula that is minus 2 minus 2 whole square plus plus Minus eleven minus three whole square. Minus two whole square plus minus fourteen whole square. What you get? Four plus one ninety six. Four plus one ninety six. Four square is what? Two square is. Sorry, here I have to write four. Four square is sixteen. Four square is sixteen. And what you get is. Two one two, and that is two root fifty three. That is two root fifty three unit. Remember. Now what we have to find out is A C. We finished A B. We have done B C. Now just see A C. What is A C? A C. I'll write one x one minus x two. We'll see whether our answer is correct or not. One minus of minus two whole square plus Five minus of minus eleven whole square. What you get? One minus of minus is three. So three square plus eleven plus five sixteen. That is sixteen square. And you get nine plus two fifty six. And two fifty six plus this is two sixty five. And that is five root fifty three unit. Your answer is same, ma. Huh? Now looking at this, what we can say that we want. अपने लिए क्या होगा तो जस्ट A B plus B C is equal to A C. If your B is between A C, if your B is between A C. That means AB plus BC is equal to AC. What is your AB? That is root five. What is your BC? That is two root fifty three. So that comes to three root fifty three. And what is your AC? That is five root fifty three. It is not equal. Therefore, the given points. Therefore, the given points are non-collinear. What are what are they? They are non-collinear. Okay. What is your fifth one, fourth one? Check whether five minus two six four 
and 7 minus 2 are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. What is an isosceles triangle? Isosceles triangle kind of when the two sides are congruent, then the base angles are congruent. But isosceles triangle mode kaya hai tu mala ki your any two sides should be congruent and your base angles are also congruent. But if you have the base angles, we don't need base angles. We want the any two sides should be congruent. So in this question, in this question, if 5 minus 2, 6, 4, 7 minus 2 are the vertices of the isosceles triangle. We have to check it. So, what we have to do is question 4. What is the question 4 here? Let, let A be the point 5 minus 2. B the B be the point six four and C B is equal to seven and minus two. You have to check whether the given points are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. Are the vertices of an isosceles triangle? That means any two sides should be equal. We'll just uh, see it by a distance formula. We'll see by distance formula. Distance formula. And always you have to write the formula because there are two one marks for the formula. Hmm? So A B A B. What is your distance A B? Six minus five. Six minus five whole square plus four minus of minus two whole square. Okay. This is 1 whole square plus 4 plus 2 minus minus plus. So 4 plus 2 that is 6 square. That is 1 plus 36, 36 and you get root 37. You get root 37 units. Don't forget to write the units. What is your BC? What is your BC? That is 7 minus 6 whole square plus Minus 2 minus 4 whole square. BC is so and so. Here also minus 1 whole square plus 6 whole square. And you get the same thing. That is 1 plus 36 and that is root 37 unit. Now what we have to find out is AC. What we have to find out is AC. AC is what? 7 minus 5 whole square plus minus 2 minus 2 whole square okay this is 2 square plus minus 2 plus or minus min, mi, minus minus plus so minus 2 I will write it here minus 2 plus 0 minus 2 plus 2 raised to 2 and you get it as 4 square plus sorry 4 plus 0 and that is 2 units that is 2 units. Okay. So, your AC is 2. Now, from this, you can see that your AB is equal to BC. Kaya karta ite ki tunchi AB is equal to BC. Therefore, as AB is equal to BC, the sides of sides of already, sides of a triangle sides of a triangle are equal Two sides of a triangle are equal. Hence, therefore, A, B, C is an isosceles triangle. Okay. A, B, C is an isosceles triangle. So, what is our fifth one? In a classroom, four friends are there. Seated at a point A, B, C, D. Okay. Champa and Chameli walks into the class and after observing a few minutes, Champa asks Chameli, that don't you think ABCD is a square? Okay. ABCD is a square. Chameli disagrees. So, by, after using the distance formula, we have to tell them whether who is correct, Champa or Chameli. So, here we have to do the distance formula. Uh, fifth one, fifth question. The fifth question we have to tell that whether ABCD is a square. ABCD is a square. What is our A point? 
see here first of all we have to write what is our a point a point is 3 always we are writing x and then y so 3 and 4 a point is 3 and 4 what is our b point 6 and 7 b is 6 and 7 what is our c point 9 and 4 9 and 4 what is our d point d is 6 and 1 okay d is 6 and 1 a points we have done it b c and d now by distance formula we have to see whether all the distance is equal or not why we have to see the distance are equal or not because the discussion was that whether a b c d is a square and what is the properties of square the properties of square is your all the sides should be equal that means we have to see that whether our a b is equal to b c equal to c d equal to a d so we have to find out this by our distance formula first we will find out by first we will find out a b what is AB? Here you have to write by distance formula. Each and every time you have to write this formula. What is the distance formula? That is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Okay. AB. That is 6 minus 3 whole square plus 7 minus 4 whole square. What you get is 3 square plus 3 square that is 9 plus 9 and you get root 18 and that is equal to 3 root 2 units. Now your BC. BC is BC. 9 minus 6 whole square plus 4 minus 7 whole square. Again 9 minus 6 is 3 square plus minus 3 whole square that is 9 plus 9 and again that is 18 and that is 3 root 2. What is your uh, CD? What is your CD? CD is CD. That is again 6 minus 9 whole square plus 1 minus 4 whole square. That is equal to 6 minus 9 minus 3 whole square plus minus 3 whole square is equal to 9 plus 9 and that is root 18 and that is 3 root 2. And the last one is, then the last one is AD is equal to AD. That is 6 minus 3 whole square plus 1 minus 4 whole square. 1 minus AD we have done now. That is equal to 3 square plus minus 3 whole square you got 9 plus 9 and that is root 18 and that is 3 root 2. Everywhere you have to write units. Now looking at this we can see all the four sides are equal or the distance between the four sides are equal but we can't stop it here because what is the form, uh, rhombus property? Rhombus property is also known. Yes, that is all the four sides are equal. But there is a difference between the diagonals of a square and the rhombus of a square. Diagonals and rhombus are a difference. What is the difference? Square chain, all the sides are equal and the diagonals are also equal. Whereas in the rhombus, all the sides are equal but one diagonal is shorter than the other, other diagonal. So, here we have to find out the diagonals also. So, what are the diagonals? Suppose this is A, B, C, D. A, C and B, D. So, we have to find out A, C also. A, C also. And we have to find out B, D also. What is A, C? A, C is 9 minus 3 whole square plus 4 minus 4 whole square. And that is 9 minus 3. That is 6 square plus 0 square. And that is 36. And that is 6. What is your DC? Uh, sorry, BD. What is your BD? BD is BD. 6 minus 6. It is this.
6 minus 6 whole square plus b d. That is 1 minus 7 whole square. What you get is 0 my plus 6 whole square and you get is Actually, it is minus here, but directly I have written. So, it is 36 and that is 6 units. units. And here also, therefore, the diagonals are also equal and all the sides are equal. So, therefore, it is a square. We have to write all the things as AB is equal to BC equal to CD equal to AD. And diagonals, diagonals. Kutla with the diagonals AC and BD are also are also equal and therefore and therefore A B C D is a square. So who was correct here? Champa. So Champa is correct. Hmm? What is our sixth one? Name the type of quadrilaterals formed, if any, by the following points and give the reasons for your answer. So, each and every sum now we are going to do from distance formula method. Okay. So, our sixth question is, name the type of quadrilaterals formed, if any of the following points and give reason for your answer. We have to see by distance formula what is the situation there, ki if AB is equal to series sum or something like that. And all the sides are equal, then it is a square. If the opposite sides are equal, they are uh, parallelogram or rectangle sum. So, first one we I'll do for you. That is, first one they have given the points minus 1, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, 2, minus 3 and 0. Let, let A is equal to minus 1, minus 2, B is equal to 1, 0, C is equal to minus 1, 2 and D, sorry, D is equal to minus 3 and 0. What we are going to write? By distance formula, by, by distance formula, what you have is x2 minus x1 whole square, what you have is x2 minus x1 whole square, Plus y2 minus y1 whole square. This is your reason. Now find out. First one. AB. What we are going to do? AB. AB find out the value of AB. That is 1 minus 1. 1 minus of minus 1 is plus 1. Here I am writing it directly. Plus 0 minus of minus 2. I will show you otherwise. Some children will have the problem for that. Okay. One minus of minus one, and that is square plus zero minus of minus two, and that is whole square. Here it is minus. What will be your answer? That is 1 plus 1 whole square plus minus into minus is plus. So 2 whole square. You get 2 square plus 2 square. That is 4 plus 4 and that is root 8. You can write it as 2 root 2 unit. Means 4 into 2. I will just show it here. 4 into 2 then 2 root 2. This is how you get 2 root 2. Next one is B, C. B, C. B, C. Minus 1, minus 1. Minus 1, minus 1 whole square plus 2 minus 0 whole square is equal to minus 2, minus 1, minus 1. If the signs are same, put the same sign and add. So, minus 1, minus 2 whole square plus 2 whole square. You get 4 plus 4. And you get 8 and that is 2 root 2 unit. What is CD? What is CD? That is minus 3 minus of minus 1. Minus 3 minus of minus 1 whole square plus 0 minus 2 whole square. CD. 
again minus 3 minus minus plus 1 whole square plus minus 2 whole square. You get it here minus 2 whole square plus minus 2 4. Here also you get it 4 plus 4 and you get 8 root 2 and sorry. 8 root 8 and you get it 2 root 2 as unit. What is your next one? Next one is A. We finished A, B, B, C, C, D. Then what is remaining? That is A, D. A, D. Again. A, B. We finished A, B, B, C, C, D. A, D. A and D. Minus 3 minus minus. Minus 3 minus of minus 1 you get square plus 0 minus of minus 2 that is whole square. Minus 3 plus 1 whole square plus 0 plus 2 whole square. And what you get is minus 2 whole square plus 2 whole square. That is 4 plus 4 you get root 8 and that is 2 root 2 units. units. Now, from this we can see all the sides are same. Because by the distance formula, the subtract side is same. Level. Therefore, again by the, uh, how we have done the last sum, that is fifth one. Here, AB is equal to AC, AC equal to BC equal to CD. So, but this is a square by seeing it. But we have to prove the diagonals also. So, what are the diagonals here? That is AC and BD. So, do it. AC. AC is minus 1 plus 1 whole square plus 2 plus 2 whole square and you get 0 plus 4 whole square. 4 is root 16 and that is also 4 units. What is your BD? BD. Minus 3 minus 1 whole square plus 0. I will write it directly. So, it is minus 4 whole square plus 0 and that is root 16 and you get is 4 units. So, I will write the answer here. Therefore, answer is what? All the 4 sides are equal. All the 4 sides are, all the 4 sides are equal and both the diagonals are also equal. Both the diagonals are equal. Therefore, quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a, A, B, C, D is a square root. So, this is, this was our first sum. Similarly, what, what is our next sum? Minus 3, 5, 3, 1, 0, 3, minus 1 and minus 4. Chal, we will do our second sum. Let let A is equal to minus 3, 5. B is equal to 3, 1. C is equal to 0, 3. And D is equal to minus 1 and minus minus 1 and minus 4. Again the same method we are going to do. A, B, B, C, C, D. Because we have to know whether which quadrilateral it is. Parallelogram hai, rectangle hai, square hai, rhombus hai, trapezium hai, something like that. We will see it here. First, A, B. Again by distance formula. You have to write it here. Distance formula. That is, X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. What is your A, B? 3 minus minus 3 whole square plus 1 minus 5 whole square. That is 3 plus 3 whole square plus minus 4 whole square. What you get is 3 plus 3 6 square plus 
16 that is 36 plus 16 and you get it root 52 and you have 2 root 13 as an unit. Find out B C also. B C is B C. 3, 3 minus 0 whole square plus 1 minus 3 whole square. That is 3 square plus minus 2 whole square. Okay. Here it is 9 plus 4 and that is 13 units. So, we are going to find out now C D. C D. What is C D? C D. That is 0 minus of minus 1. 0 minus of minus 1 whole square plus 3 minus of minus 4 whole square. Okay. Here it is 1 square plus minus into minus plus and 3 plus 4 is 7 square. That you get is 1 plus 49 and that is 50. And you get is 5 root 2 units. What is A, B, B, C, C, D? Then what is remaining? A, D. A, D. What is your A, D? A, D. That is minus 1. Minus 1. Minus of minus 3. That is plus 3. Plus 3 whole square plus Minus 4 minus 5 whole square. 2 square plus minus 9 whole square. You get it 4 plus 81. 4 plus 81 and that is 85 units. 85 units. Now we have taken out A, B, B, C, C, D, A, D. All the four sides. Are all the four sides equal? No. Not all the four sides are equal. So now we will just see whether the diagonals are equal or not. Again, find out the diagonals. AC, AC, that is 0 plus 3 whole square plus 3 minus 5 whole square. You get 3 square plus minus 2 whole square. And that is 9 plus 4 and you get is root 13 units. What is BD? BD is equal to minus 1 minus 3 whole square plus minus 4 minus 1 whole square and what you get is minus 4 whole square plus minus 5 is a whole square and that is 16 plus 25 you get 16 plus 25 is 41 unit here diagonals are also not equal and all the sides are also not equal that means they doesn't form a quadrilateral why because a b c and d are collinear. What are they? They are collinear and they doesn't form a quadrilateral. Therefore, A, B, C, E does not form a quadrilateral. Okay. So, this was our second sum. What is our third sum? That is 4, 7, 7, 4, 5, 7, 6, 4, 3 and 1, 2. We will do it. Now question 6, third sum. What is our third sum? Four, five, seven, six, four, three, and 1, 2. Distance formula. Again use the distance formula. Our A is 4, 5. B is 7, 6. C is 4, 3. And D is 1, 2. Write the distance formula. Is equal to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. A, B. What is A, B? A, B equal to 
सेवन माइनस फोर होल स्क्वेर प्लस सिक्स माइनस फाइव होल स्क्वेर दैट इज थ्री स्क्वेर प्लस वन स्क्वेर दैट इज नाइन प्लस वन एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू रूट टेन वॉट इज युअर पी सी वॉट इज युअर पी सी बी सी इज फोर मायनस सेवन फोर मायनस सेवन होल स्क्वेर प्लस थ्री मायनस सिक्स होल स्क्वेर एंड दॅट यू गेट इज मायनस थ्री होल स्क्वेर प्लस मायनस थ्री होल स्क्वेर थ्री स्क्वेर इज नाईन प्लस नाईन एंड दॅट इज एटी नाईन प्लस नाईन इज एटीन सॉरी नाईन प्लस नाईन इज एटीन एंड यू गेट इज थ्री रूट टू वॉट इज युअर सी डी वॉट इज युअर सी सी डी फोर मायनस वन होल स्क्वेर प्लस थ्री मायनस टूचा होल स्क्वेर यू गेट इज थ्री स्क्वेर प्लस वन स्क्वेर नाईन प्लस वन दॅट इज रूट टेन ओके ना वॉट इज युअर ए डी ए डी वॉट इज युअर ए डी सेवन ए डी वन सॉरी नॉट इट इज नॉट सेवन वन मायनस फोर होल स्क्वेर प्लस टू मायनस फाईव्ह होल स्क्वेर यू गेट इट ॲज मायनस थ्री होल स्क्वेर प्लस मायनस थ्री होल स्क्वेर दॅट इज नाईन स्क्वेर प्लस नाईन प्लस नाईन दॅट इज नाईन प्लस नाईन अँड दॅट इज रूट एटीन यू गेट इज टू रूट रूट एटीन इज थ्री रूट थ्री रूट देर फोर देर फोर यू आर ए बी इज इक्वल टू सी डी अँड बी सी इज इक्वल टू ए डी देर फोर वी कॅन सी दॅट ए बी इज इक्वल टू सी डी अँड बी सी इज इक्वल टू ए डी देर फोर बट बट ए बी इक्वल टू नाव अगेन वी हॅव टू डू ए सी इज नॉट इक्वल टू बी डी हिअर वी हॅव टू फाईंड आउट ए सी अँड बी डी ऑल्सो द कॉट ॲज अ ऑपोजिट सेट्स आर इक्वल दे आर पॅरेलो इट इज अ इट इज अ पॅरेलो ग्रॅम ए बी सी डी इज अ पॅरेलो ग्रॅम ओके ॲज युअर ए बी इज इक्वल टू सी डी अँड बी सी इज इक्वल टू ए डी यू हॅव टू फाईंड आउट ए सी अँड बी ए सी अँड बी डी ऑल्सो हिअर ओके नाव वॉट इज युअर क्वेश्चन सेवन वॉट इज युअर क्वेश्चन सेवन फाईंड द डिस्टन्स ऑन द हा नाव द क्वेश्चन सेवन फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन सेवन क्वेश्चन एट क्वेश्चन नाईन अँड टेन दे आर लिटल बिट डिफरंट डिस्टन्स फॉर्म्युलाच फाईंड आउट करायचा आहे बट लिटल बिट डिफरंट फाईंड द पॉईंट ऑन द एक्स ॲक्सिस विच इज इक्वी डिस्टन्स फ्रॉम द पॉईंट सो अँड सो फाईंड द पॉईंट ऑन द एक्स ॲक्सिस नाव बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेसन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग अवर एक्सरसाइज आय हॅव टोल्ड यू इफ इट इज ऑन द एक्स ॲक्सिस दॅट मीन्स युअर एक्स इज समथिंग अँड युअर वाय इज झिरो ना दे हॅव टोल्ड अस फाईंड द पॉईंट ऑन द एक्स ॲक्सिस विच इज इक्वी डिस्टन्स सपोज द पॉईंट इज हिअर ऑफ एक्स ॲक्सिस अँड इक्वी डिस्टन्स एक्स ॲक्सिसचे पॉईंट सपोज दिस इज एक्स अँड दिस इज बी अँड सी सो युअर ए बी अँड बी सी शूड बी इक्वल दॅट मीन्स दॅन युअर ए पॉईंट इज इक्वी डिस्टन्स फ्रॉम बी अँड सी बरोबर फाईंड द पॉईंट ऑन द एक्स ॲक्सिस दॅट मीन्स यू हॅव टू फाईंड आउट ए विच इज इक्वी डिस्टन्स फ्रॉम बी एस सी इक्वी डिस्टन्स मीन्स इक्वल डिस्टन्स सो ए बी शूड बी इक्वल टू ए सी नो लेट लेट युअर ए पॉईंट बी एक्स एन झिरो वाय युअर ए पॉईंट इज एक्स एन झिरो बिकॉज इट इज अ एक्स ॲक्सिस द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सेम वेअर इट इज दे हॅव गिवन इज अ वाय ॲक्सिस सो युअर वाय कॉर्डिनेट विल युअर न्यू पॉईंट दॅट इज पी ऑर एनिथिंग वी विल टेक दॅट विल बी झिरो अँड वाय 
so here it is on x axis so we have taken the y zero hmm? let x and be the any point any point on x axis okay which is which is equidistance which is equidistance from 2 minus 5 and minus 2 9 okay now we have to find out here I have drawn a diagram here. We have to find out what is AB and what is C. AC. Till now we have not done a section formula. We are not an area of triangle. So what we know? We know that it is a distance formula. By distance formula. So therefore by distance formula x2 minus x1 whole exercise is of distance formula. So don't get bored to write the distance formula every time. So find the point on the x-axis which is equidistant from sense. Therefore, what we have to know that AB is equal to AC. AB equal to AC. Here, I will not write the square root. I will not write this square root. So not writing the square root, what I have to do is, I have to square on both the sides. So therefore, AB square is equal to AC square Squaring on both the sides. Squaring on both sides. Squaring on both the sides. Atta means the only grade square killer. Then I don't have to write the square root sign. I don't have to write the square root sign. So now what is your A, what is your B and what is your C here? So sorry I have not written it. What is B and C here? That is 2, 5 and C is minus 2 and 7. Okay. Now we do it. What is A, B? A, B. A is X0. How we are going to take the points? I will write it here. So it will be not be difficult for you. 2 is minus 5. C is minus 2 and 7. A, B. X minus 2. X minus 2. Here, just keep in mind. Confusion is not going to be confused. You have X minus 2. You have 2 minus X. You have to have a problem. But you have to have an identity X minus 2. Monon upon x minus 2 get plus 0 minus 5 0 minus of minus 5 whole square okay is equal to what is the ac what is the ac x minus x minus of minus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 7 whole square okay now a minus 2 whole square what formula you are going to use? A minus B whole square. That is A square minus 2AB plus B square. What is X minus 2 whole square you get? That is X square minus 4X plus 4. Plus 5 square is 25. Here you will write minus of minus. So you get X plus 2 whole square. I will write it directly here. X square plus 4X plus 4 and it plus 49. Here actually C point is 9. It is not 7. C point is 9. So I get that is 81. 81, 81 plus 4 that is 85. Human error. Error no? 9 and 7. So 85 minus 29 I get it is 56. So X is equal to 56 upon 8. And X is equal to minus 7. I got the point x equal to minus 7. So what is our a point that is minus 7 and 0. Hence the point equidistance from the given point is minus 7 and 0. A point is minus 7 and 0. What will be your 8th one? Find the value of y for which the distance between p and q is 10 units. Now they have given us the distance. They have given us the distance. We will do it. 8th one. Find the value of y for which the distance point p is so and so, q is 10 and y and find uh, distance is 10. Here p is equal to 2 and minus 3, q is equal to 10 and y and the distance between, distance between pq is 
10. They have given us distance between the PQ is 10 units. Therefore, PQ is equal to 10. They have given us. What we are going to do? PQ square because I am not going to write here also the square root. Therefore, PQ square is equal to 10. What is PQ? Oh, I am not going to write it now. Ten, ten minus two whole square plus y minus of minus three whole square is equal to ten. Ten minus two is eight square plus y plus three whole square is equal to ten. Eight is sixty four. Y plus three whole square that is y square plus a plus b whole square that is twelve y plus three square is nine. 3 to the 6, 9 is equal to 10, is equal to 10. So, y square plus 6y, 64 plus 9, you get that is 64 plus 9, that is 73. And this 10 also comes here, it get 0. y square plus 6y plus 63, you get equal to 0. Now, middle term splitting, middle term splitting, that is 63. 63 is factors are? 9 7s are 63. 9 7s. Can you get by 9 7s are 63? You get 6? No. Then what are the factors of 63? There must be some mistake of uh, what we have done it. X square, then Y square plus. I want it here actually 2. Here. As I have taken as P square, I have to take the square on both the sides. Take the square on both the sides. So, it will be 10 square and that will be 100 on all the sides. So, sorry students. That will be 100 and 73, uh, 100 minus 73. How much you get? Y square plus 6Y. 6Y. And 100 minus 73, that is 7 and 27. Now, you have to see whether the 27 factors, that's where uh, factors of 27 is 9 threes. Uh, so, you get y square plus 9y minus 3y plus 27 equal to 0. So, sorry. Okay, it was, we have to take the square root on both the sides. By mistake, I have taken the square root on one, one side only. I will take the square root on both the sides. So, I get y, y plus 9 minus 3, y minus 9 plus and you get y plus 9 and y minus 3 equal to 0. So, y equal to minus 9 and y is equal to 3. So the required values are of y is minus 9 and 3. Bagha, kiti silly mistake hu shakte. Zara apante square dohi side lana hai hitla we are not going to get the answers here. Okay. Now what is the ninth one? If q, if q is 0, 1, is equidistance from p and r. Okay. Already they have told us it is equidistance. Same like your uh, h sum. Also find the value of x, okay and also find the distance between OR and PR. So it's very lengthy sum. It's very lengthy. Ninth one. If Q point, what is the Q point? As Q is equidistance. As Q is equidistance. Equidistance from P and Q. Okay. And what they have given us? QP is equal to QR. Okay. Given. So we are again squaring on both the sides. Squaring on both the sides. Not only for one side. What I have done in the last sum. It was the human error. As you say. On. Squaring both sides. 
what is your q what is your p they have given us yes they have given us p is so and so i'll write it here for our convenience your p is 5 minus 3 and your r is r is 6 and x and your q is 0 and 5 chalo start doing it qp qp i'll write it 5 minus 0 whole square plus minus 3 minus 1 whole square is equal to qr x minus 0 whole square plus 6 minus 1 sa whole square that is 5 square plus minus 4 square is equal to x square plus 5 square what you get is 25 plus 4 square is 16 That is x square plus twenty five. I'll directly cut twenty five twenty five. I get x square equal to sixteen, and x is equal to plus or minus four. X is equal to plus or minus four. So what was our first question? It was find out the value of x. So we have find out the value of x. Now they have said us also find the distance between q r and p r. Also find the distance between. Now, for finding the distance between P R and Q R, what you have to do is you have got the value of x as two values, that is plus x and minus x. So, by both the values, you have to find out the distance. Now, coordinate coordinate of R is you get is four six and minus four six. One is plus four and one is minus six. As you have got the two values. That is the four and minus four. So distance is distance between Q R is what will be your distance when I'll write here step by step. Then you can understand it. R is four six. Your R is four six. When your R is four six, what is the distance between Q R? What was the Q points? Zero and one. Zero and one. That is. Four minus zero whole square plus six minus one. That is four square plus five square, and you get it nine plus twenty five. Oh, sorry, four plus sixteen is this, and you get is forty one units. When your r is uh, minus four and six, when your r is minus four and six, what you get? You get. Minus four minus zero whole square plus six minus one whole square, and that is four square minus four square plus five square, and that is sixteen plus twenty five, and that is forty one units. Both are same. So the distance between the distance between Q R. We have find out the distance between. Q R. Now we have to find out the distance between P R. The distance between P R. P R also same. When R is four six, the distance between P R is four minus five whole square plus six plus three whole square, and that is minus one whole square plus nine whole square, and you get is one plus eighty one. One that is eighty two units. Okay. Again, P R is when your R is uh, uh, minus four and six. Your R is minus four and six. Minus four minus five whole square. I have just substituted instead of four. I have substituted minus four. So six plus three whole square, and that is minus nine whole square plus nine whole square. And you get is eighty one plus eighty one, and that is one nine one sixty one sixty two units. Okay, so the value of P R is eighty one uh, root eighty two and root sixty. Now our last last sum of this exercise, that is find the relation between x and y such that the point x y is equidistant from the point three six and minus three four. Find the relation between x and y such that the point x y is equidistant. That means your point x y should be equidistant from the point 
points. What are the points? 3, 6 and minus 3, 4. 10th one. Last one. That is the this. Let, let the point, let the point P, X, Y be the equidistance. Be the, now they have given us equidistance. But uh, equidistance from the points, that is A point is, A point is 3, 6. B point is minus 3 and minus 3 and 4 I think so. What they have given us? Minus 3 and 4. It is plus 4. It is plus 4. It is plus 4. Again the same thing. AP is equal to BP. Now, AP square equal to BP square. Squaring on both sides. Squaring on both sides. AP. I will write X minus 3. So, you can use the formula or A plus B and identities we can use. Them. So, X minus 3 whole square plus Y minus 6 the whole square. What is your BP? That is X. X minus and minus 3, you get plus 3 whole square plus Y minus 4 whole square. Hmm? What do you get? A square, A square minus 6X plus 9 plus Y square minus 12X, uh, sorry 12Y plus 36 x square plus 6x plus 9 plus y square minus 8y plus 16. Okay. Just see x square x square will get cancel. y square and y square will get cancel. What is remaining? That is minus 6x. I'll shift this 6x to this side. That comes to 6x. Minus 6x. And what was the remaining here? 12 minus 12y. This also 8y. And all the numbers are shift to that side. That is 9 plus 36 I get is 45. That is minus 45. And 9 plus 16 I get is 25. Listen again. I have shifted all the numbers to that side. And all the x and y to the right or left hand side. So I got it 12x. 12 minus 8 I have got minus 4 is equal to minus 20. Minus 20. What I will do is I will divide this throughout by 4. Divide this throughout by 4. Minus 4. So I get this plus y is equal to is equal to 5. Divide throughout throughout by minus 4. So we get this. And our equation will be 3x plus y minus 5 equal to 0. What was our question? Find the relation between x and y. x and y. So, the answer is the relation between x and y is 3x plus y minus 3x plus y minus 5 equal to 0. So, this was the end of our exercise. That is 7.1. So, next lecture we are going to take it the section formula. I will teach you section, section formula and the area of the triangle. Okay. Thank you.